And we open the gate and go outside, and here we are. When the school is this close, it feels like part of the home. This is my backyard, yes, absolutely. For Sarah Munstock. Yeah. She and her husband have two small kids. Yep, we were planning on sending them to Peabody. Uh, that's why we bought our house. But now Littleton Public Schools is looking to close Peabody Elementary as part of a district-wide plan. Munstock says Littleton gave little to no warning. A lot of the young families in this neighborhood are very concerned that the district isn't being completely transparent with us. I have a seventh grader, a third grader, and a first grader. Carrie Strohmeyer still has two kids at Peabody. Peabody's a family. She felt blindsided and has joined the fight. It was never communicated or even hinted at that the um, future for Peabody would be to shut it down. I just wanted everyone to know this is an important community. Munstock started a social media campaign to create awareness. Peabody, that's for me. That's the place I need to be. We have to get the kids singing their battle cry. And she's planning a peaceful demonstration at Littleton Public Schools headquarters. A call of action because I want my kids to come here. And um, it's very disappointing that they didn't confront the community, let us know what was happening. LPS wants to combine small schools like Peabody, which has 231 students, to make larger elementary schools, which are more financially efficient. As a parent, I, I mean, I haven't spoken to anyone in the community who is ready and willing to jump the ship from Peabody, a close-knit community, to a mega school. They want their little school from Littleton. It's a very important fixture in our community. Nelson Garcia, 9 News. A spokesperson for Littleton Public Schools says the district does not want to comment at this time since it is so early in the process. The school board will gather more information and make a final decision on this in coming months.